Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be a different one again. We're doing another sit down and talk with me video about Lady Gaga and her new collaboration, her new brand deal with Dom Paragon. Now, we will react to the commercial, to the video that was released. I believe it's something to do with Queendom and that's what Gaga has labelled it as. But before we get into that, there is a few things of recent that we need to address. Firstly, it will be her most recent album, Chromatica. And I love that she's still continuing the whole theme a year later with this brand deal, with the Oreos brand deal. She's continuing it, even though it's not musically, it's with other companies and other brands. So I am intrigued to see what else is to come. One thing that I wanted to address was I've seen on Twitter and I'm really excited. There is apparently, now I'm not confirming this, it isn't set in stone, it's not official, but apparently Blood Pop has tweeted back and forth with Charlie XCX, an artist that I don't often listen to, but also Rina Sawayama, both artists about Chromatica remix album and then featuring on the album. And both artists have openly tweeted and openly posted about a remix album of Chromatica. And I really hope, I honestly really hope it is in the works. Now Chromatica so far is my second favorite Lady Gaga album. And I've done a ranking just a few months ago on the channel. If you want to go watch that video, I would highly recommend. It's not my best video. It's when I first started my reaction. So I am a little bit nervous, a little bit shy in the video. But my honest opinion is in there regarding the songs and my opinion has stayed the same until now. So I would like that video to be watched. Moving on now from Chromatica to an album that is quite underrated, an album that isn't really talked about, an album that was pushed aside. This album was too good, um, too soon for its time in 2013, and it is Art Pop, my favourite Lady Gaga album. And as of recent, I've been obsessed. Whereas before, when it first came out, I wasn't vibing, I wasn't into it. But now, clear to say that all but one song are absolute favourites. I can't honestly pick a top three in the album. But regarding that and what has happened this week is a partition has gone round and it is to be signed to try to get Art Pop Act 2 released. Now, back when Art Pop was released, Lady Gaga openly said that there was a lot of tracks that were scrapped, tossed aside, weren't released and weren't put on the final album, but there was an act two to come afterwards. It hadn't, it was scrapped, it was pushed aside after Art Pop had so much negativity and so much negative around it that Lady Gaga didn't release those. But as of recent, a lot of fans and a lot of word has come about that it was to be released so i'm honestly hoping that it does not for the sheer fact for the money the charts not for lady gaga to profit off it just for us fans to listen to those unreleased tracks and connect and just enjoy the music as it should be so with those two cleared up let's get on now with this reaction I'm just going to type in Dom Perignon and let's see this teaser and see what it involves. A lot of people are saying that Enigma or Babylon Remix or the original Babylon House Labs will be released and this is the start of it, that this will have it featured. But I'm honestly not expecting that. I just want to go in to see the visuals and see what it entails. Um, Harry Gun, Lady Gaga, 
And there it is, it was released three hours ago and it has 45,000 views. Now, regarding this, I've seen one picture on Instagram, I'll put it up here, and that is the only picture that I've seen so far. So, I don't know what to expect going into this teaser. So, the title is Creative Freedom is Power. So, it is to do with creativity and what Lady Gaga stands for. Let's put that up full screen and give it a watch. I love those nails. Wow. Wanna be free. Look how stunning, stunning this dress is on Lady Gaga with the hair, the pink hair and the long nails. It's just art. And the champagne. Wow, I didn't expect that transition. Look how glamorous. It's the dance floor I fall for. Look at all these transitions. That was amazing. I'm honestly speechless <laughs> and I don't know what to say. Another branding that I forgot about was the Valentino where in the commercial she had sign from above. So a lot of these commercials are using songs from Chromatica, which I quite enjoy, but this sounded a little bit like a remix. So is this a teaser for the remix album? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I love the two looks, the big pink puffy dress and the very metallic chic gown. I loved, loved them. And the nails again and the makeup, all fabulous. So with this being the end, we have a lot more to discover regarding Chromatica and Lady Gaga's future with this whole theme. So if you want to keep be kept updated, follow all my social medias down below. I post daily on my Instagram and TikTok, so follow those. Like, comment and subscribe while you're down there and I'll see you in the next video.